The desire to aim for the stars has always captivated people. While we lack the ability to fly, we do have the intellect and talents to construct buildings whose tops constantly aim to reach beyond the clouds. Here is a list of 15 of the world's most stunning towers that have wowed visitors since their construction. We also encourage you to check out the rest of the channel's videos and subscribe while you're there. Number 10. Canton Tower, Guangzhou, China As the magnificent engineering would indicate, this is literally a skyscraper with a twist. This 595-meter tall edifice contains outside gardens as well as a 450-meter high observation deck. After sunset, the tower's shape makes it a stunning sight, and it was one of the most popular sites at the 2010 Asian Games in Guangzhou. Located on the south bank of the Pearl River in Haiju District, the tall, thin Canton Tower is built for both television transmission and recreational use, inaugurated in 2010. The tower's interior is separated into programmatic zones with varied services, such as television and radio transmission facilities, observation decks, revolving restaurants, computer games, restaurants, exhibition spaces, conference rooms, stores, and 4D cinemas. It is a multi-purpose observation tower in Guangzhou's Haiju district that stands 604 meters, 1,982 feet tall, alternatively romanized as Canton. The tower was completed in 2009 and opened to the public on September 29, 2010, in time for the 2010 Asian Games. The tower replaced the CN skyscraper as the world's tallest tower for a short time, until being eclipsed by the Tokyo Skytree. Prior to the topping out of the Shanghai skyscraper on the 3rd of August 2013, it was China's highest structure. It is now the world's second tallest tower and fourth tallest freestanding structure. Number 9. Milad Tower, Tehran, Iran Milad Tower, commonly referred to as the Tehran Tower, is a multi-purpose structure in Tehran, Iran. It is the world's sixth tallest tower and the world's 24th tallest freestanding building. It stands at 435 meters from the base to the tip of the antenna and is located between Garb Town and the district of Gisha. The head is made up of a huge pod with 12 stories and a 315 meter high roof. The tower is part of Tehran's International Trade and Convention Center, which contains a five-star hotel, a convention center, a world trade center, and an information technology park. Iranian architect Mohammad Reza Hafezi was in charge of the project's design. Boland Paya was the general contractor, and Yadman Saza, a representative of the Tehran municipality, was the principal client and investor. The octagonal base of the tower, as well as the head with its geometric form of 12 stories, represent ancient Iranian architecture. It resembles a chess piece with its 315 meters of the concrete shaft. Nearly 100 trade units, eating places, and show halls are housed there. The six elevators, which are placed on three sides of the shaft, transport guests to the top at a speed of 7 meters per second. Number 8. Space Needle, Seattle, USA This 185-meter tall observation tower is a monument to the two architects' dreams, which resulted in a compromise between a gigantic air balloon attached to the ground and a flying saucer. The latter houses a restaurant as well as an observation deck. It has become a Pacific Northwest landmark. It was built in the Seattle Center for the 1962 World's Fair and received over 2.3 million visitors, with over 20,000 people utilizing its elevators every day. The elevators, in reality, travel at a speed of 4.5 meters per second and take 47 seconds to reach the top. The Sky City restaurant on the observation deck is a fantastic place to eat wonderful food while taking in the breathtaking views. The restaurant, however, has been closed for renovation since September of 2017 and is set to return in May of 2018. It is also known as the 400-Day Wonder. Here's why. The ultimate saucer-shaped design of the Seattle Space Needle was conceived by John Graham, the designer of the country's first shopping mall. It was constructed in a world record-breaking 400 days, earning it the nickname 400 Day Wonder. It was displayed during the 1962 World's Fair after it was completed. Number 7. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Pisa, Italy This is the oldest on the list and it's also one of the most opulent. This tower took 177 years to construct. This was due to the building's foundation being inadequately constructed, causing a significant amount of it to sink beneath the ground. To compensate for the slant, later engineers had to build one side higher than the other. You can climb the 296 steps to the top solely for the sake of climbing them and looking around. Being one of Italy's most famous attractions, it certainly lives up to its name, leaning a remarkable 3.9 degrees off the vertical. The 58-meter-high Campanile bell tower, of the Duomo took nearly 200 years to complete, but it was already falling apart when it was presented in 1372. The tilt, which was caused by a layer of weak subsoil, slowly worsened over time until it was finally stopped in the 1990s by a huge stabilization effort. The leaning tower can only accommodate 45 people at a time, 
and children under the age of eight are not permitted to enter or climb. For the greatest experience, book in advance online or go straight to a ticket office to avoid disappointment. Number 6. Eiffel Tower, Paris, France The Eiffel Tower, or La Tour Eiffel in French, is one of the most well-known landmarks in the world. The tower was built as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair in Paris, with the goal of commemorating the French Revolution's centennial and showcasing France's modern technological supremacy on a global scale. This is probably one of those landmarks you first saw as a child. This structure greets you as soon as you enter Paris. Gustave Eiffel designed it as the entrance to the 1889 Paris International Exhibition. It stands 300 meters tall and was the world's highest building until the 1930 opening of the Chrysler Building. It is still one of the most popular and often visited monuments in the world. Visitors may get a fantastic view of the River Seine and other lovely landmarks strewn around the ancient city of Paris from the observation deck at the top of the tower. The tower has hosted over 300 million visitors since its opening in 1889, and it continues to welcome around 7 million tourists each year. Despite the large number of individuals who have climbed the Iron Tower, it still has secrets to unveil. Number 5. One World Trade Center, New York, U.S. The primary building of the restored World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan, New York City, is One World Trade Center, also known as One World Trade, One WTC, and formerly Freedom Tower. One WTC is the highest skyscraper in the United States, the Western Hemisphere's tallest building, and the world's sixth tallest building. The super tall tower shares the same name as the old World Trade Center's North Tower, which was demolished in the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. On the site of the original Six World Trade Center, the new tower stands on the northwest corner of the 16-acre, 6.5 hectare World Trade Center site. The building is bordered on the west by West Street, the north by Vesey Street, the south by Fulton Street, and the east by Washington Street. It is one of the most contentious structures in the world today, standing on the site of the previous Six World Trade Centers. It stands 1,776 feet tall, which represents the year the Declaration of Independence was signed, as well as the tenacious spirit of American growth. It contains a variety of high-tech elements in its ventilation system, such as chemical and biological filters, in case of future emergencies. Number 4. Big Ben, London, UK Is there really anything fresh to say about Big Ben? It has become the trademark logo of the city, appearing in practically every film made in the city, and Londoners celebrated its 150th anniversary on May 31, 2009, with much pomp. Sir Benjamin Hall, who initially ordered the 13-ton bell that has been telling people the time since then, is the name of this 96-meter Gothic building. Augustus Pugin designed the tower in a neo-Gothic style. When it was finished in 1859, the clock was the world's largest and most accurate four-faced striking and chiming clock. The tower is 316 feet 96 meters tall, with 334 steps from ground level to the belfry. The rose for England, thistle for Scotland, shamrock for Northern Ireland, and leek for Wales are all represented on the tower by shields, with a rose for England, thistle for Scotland, shamrock for Northern Ireland, and leek for Wales. On August 21, 2017, work on the tower began on a four-year refurbishment timetable. Among the upgrades will be the addition of a lift, reglazing and repainting the clock dials, updating lighting and replacing roof tiles. Number 3. Oriental Pearl Tower, Shanghai, China This was previously Shanghai's tallest structure, standing at 468 meters. Visitors may receive distinct and spectacular views of the city from its three observation decks. The second sightseeing deck, with its glass floor, provides you with the bizarre sensation of hovering 259 meters above sea level above the Huangpo River. Tourists come to the Oriental Pearl Tower for the prized hovering sensation. Shanghai Oriental Pearl Tower is at Pudong Park in Lu Jiazui, Shanghai's Pudong New Area. It is surrounded on the northeast by the Yangpu Bridge and on the southwest by the Nanpu Bridge, giving it the appearance of twin dragons playing with pearls. The entire the entire scenario is a photographic gem that piques people's interest and draws hundreds of tourists every year. The fact that this ultra-modern Oriental Pearl TV tower blends ancient themes like spherical pearls with 21st century technology, commerce, recreation, educational, and conference facilities is incredible. This 468-meter, 1,536-foot-tall TV and radio tower is the world's sixth highest and China's second tallest. However, the Oriental Pearl Tower's distinctive architectural design is even more enticing than its height making it one of the most attractive places on the planet. Number 2. CN Tower, Toronto, Canada This was the world's tallest skyscraper when it was completed in 1976. In the Western Hemisphere, this is still the case. The initial CN stood for Canadian National Railways, 
which was responsible for the tower's construction. The American Society of Civil Engineers included the CN Tower in its list of seven wonders of the world in 1995. The 360 restaurant, which is positioned at a height of 351 meters, is one of the most popular attractions of the CN Tower. It's a rotating restaurant that rotates completely every 72 minutes. In the beginning, Sparkles, which was located on the indoor observation level, was the world's largest dance floor. Before being surpassed by Shanghai World Financial Center in 2008, the Skypod was the world's highest observation deck. Since its construction in 1976, the CN Tower has been at the top of most tourists' must-see lists in Toronto. Until recently, a visit to the observation deck was rather routine. Use the elevator, ascend to the observation deck, and gaze out over the city from the perch of a hawk. While this was fine and entertaining, the tower's bucketless potential has been enhanced by the recently created Edgewalk experience. Number 1. Burj Khalifa, Dubai, UAE this is the world's highest man-made tower, standing at 828 meters, and is a symbol of Dubai's ambition to become a global financial hub. Aside from shopping malls and posh hotels, the 158th floor of the Burj Khalifa also houses the world's highest mosque. This tower is distinguished by its tripodal shape and projecting edges. Skidmar Owings and Merrill designed it SOM. The building requires half the steel used in the Empire State Building because of its tubular system. The spiraling design is inspired by Islamic architecture, such as that of the Great Mosque of Samarra. The Burj Khalifa is the focal point of a massive mixed-use building that includes offices, retail space, residential units, and a Giorgio Armani hotel. The views of the Arabian Gulf have been maximized thanks to a Y-shaped floor design. The skyscraper is flanked on the ground level by green space, water features, and pedestrian-friendly streetscapes. The Burj Khalifa combines novel structural and construction efficiencies to reduce material usage and waste. In addition to its world record-breaking height, a sky-sourced ventilation system in which cool, less humid air is pulled in through the building's top is one of them. The tower also houses one of the world's largest condensate recovery systems. Conclusion The incredibly towering skyscrapers that rise beyond clouds and seem to go on forever are some of the most amazing modern marvels. They are sometimes residential buildings, sometimes offices, and occasionally a mixture of offices, apartments, and even hotel rooms. Their unrivaled richness is a recurring feature of these architectural masterpieces. Thank you for viewing, and we hope to see you in the next video.